Good morning. It is 6.32 a.m. on Tuesday, June 18th, 2019. I'm Christiana Ellis, and I just got up. This is five more minutes. I was up a little bit later last night because we were recording our series finale uh, wrap-up discussion for Beyond the Wall, where we didn't just talk about like the last episode or the final season of Game of Thrones, but rather looked back at the whole arc of the show and the whole arc of our podcast, which we did since the beginning. And so uh, that was really mm, emotional, especially just because you know, one of the people who started the show with us uh, wasn't able to finish it with us. So uh, reflecting on that was powerful, but it meant I was up a little bit late, so I'm a little bit tired. The title of my episode today, uh, Right Place at the Wrong Time, uh, is not just a riff on how weird that whole figure of speech can be, where when you, some like some accidental tragedy happens and people say, oh, they were just in the wrong place at the wrong time. It's like, well... No, because theoretically, if it wasn't the wrong time, it wouldn't be the wrong place. Or if the time wasn't wrong, it or, or like if the if the place was uh, if the wait could be could be the right place at the wrong time, like my video is titled, or could be the wrong place at the right time. But to imply that both are necessarily wrong is unnecessary. I don't know. It's just, I suppose people, I don't know what it, it's not, I don't really care about that. I didn't actually, my whole point of bringing that up was that that's not what I was wanting to talk about. Anyway, uh, I was thinking about just timing and scheduling because yesterday after work, I went to go do my second workout at the new fitness center and I was anticipating doing swimming again. And as I arrived, I wanted to make sure, I was like, well, before I change into my swimsuit, let's just make sure that the pool isn't, you know, just totally crowded and full. So I went and I looked down through the little glass observe, observation area, and it seemed like there was spots available. So I went and changed into my swimsuit and came out and then discovered, or rather was informed that just in the intermediate time that it took me to change into my swimsuit, the clock ticked over from recreation or, uh, you know, lap swim time to uh, swim class time. And I learned to my dismay that the exact times where I had been anticipating coming to the gym and doing swim workouts on weekdays anyway, uh, is now taken up by swim lessons and is unavailable for that purpose. Now, there are other times that I could do it. For example, if I was willing to get up early enough, I could go and do swimming before work instead of after. Uh, there's obviously some appeal in that, but the part where I have to get up early is less, less so. And then, there, of course, I could do later in the evening, which is workable for some evenings and less so for others. Uh, but then, of course, I could also just still do weekends like I did on Saturday. So that's always an option, too. And, and there's also, of course, plenty of other things to do there. I just kind of wish I had realized before changing into my swimsuit that I wasn't going to be able to swim because I did bring stuff to do, you know, other things, too, because they have, you know, weights and cardio machines and all that good stuff. So uh, that is what I did. So I am now two, two exercises, two workout sessions into what will hopefully be a new routine. And I'll have to kind of figure out if I want to just sort of commit to myself to the, like that there are specific days that I'm going to go. Because theoretically what I could be doing is like Monday and Wednesday and then Saturday. And then Saturday is swimming day. Could be. Uh, I, but definitely having some sort of a routine is important for me in terms of my ability to stick to it as opposed to just 
oh, well, I go sometimes when I feel like it because frequently I'm not going to feel like it. But it was kind of a bummer yesterday where I was actually kind of looking forward to it only to have my momentum interrupted. But I did still go and work out on the elliptical machines. Because I am a big person and certainly out of shape at the moment, uh, non-impact forms of exercise are kind of important for me because I've in the past tried things like the couch to 5k jogging programs and didn't hate it, but found that, you know, my knees would start to hurt and I'm always a little bit worried. It's like, I don't want to hurt myself. Right. But you know, swimming and uh, elliptical good stuff. So in any event, I'm proud of myself for going a second time. Hopefully I'm going to be able to stick to it for a while get a little bit healthier again, and, uh, you know, that's the plan. But uh, in this case, I was at the right place, the pool, but at the wrong time during swim classes. So I'm going to go ahead and, or, or you could even argue that I was at the wrong place at the right time. The time that I would have been able to swim, I wasn't there. So I'm going to leave it there because I am not wanting to talk about that anymore. All right. Bye now. <laughs> I'll talk to you tomorrow for five more minutes.